What is going on guys and girls, level up here at On Point Tactical. Today we are going to talk about why the M16A4 is the best assault rifle in Battlefield 4. Now I know a lot of you are going to be saying the 416 and the Ace 23 in your heads throughout this entire video, but I have statistics to back up my assumption that the M16A4 is the best assault rifle. And we are going to go through the actual weapons chart. I'm not going to, well I will show you that little chart across the top, but I'm going to go through the full list myself on Synthic.com and give you some of the stats that really matter. If you liked the M16A3 in Battlefield 3, you'll be happy to know that very little has actually changed from that weapon to the M16A4 in Battlefield 4. Same damage model, same rate of fire at 800, same muzzle velocity at 650 meters a second, but in this game, because they have a new bullet drop mechanic, this one has a bullet drop of 15 meters per second squared, same magazine size, same reload times at 1.8 seconds and 2.37 seconds, but the recoil pattern is a little bit different at 0.34 up, 0.1 left, and 0. full pull to the right, with the same first shot recoil multiplier at 2.5x. Now the spread increase per round is 0.104, which isn't really that big of a deal, and we'll get around to that in a minute. The regular ADS spread while not moving is 0.2, and the ADS spread while moving is 1, and the hip fire standing while not moving spread is 3, which is not fantastic by any means, but I don't think that it's necessarily a hindrance. Now the stats that no one ever talks about that they need to start talking about on YouTube uh, this includes level cap, Matimio, X Factor, uh, Luton. No one ever brings this up. The spread increase per round factor is just as important as the ADS accuracy of weapons to start with. With the spread increase per round on a burst weapon, it resets every three bullets back to zero, or in this case, 0 0.2. It, it's going to reset back to that same accuracy for the first shot of the next burst. So the maximum spread that you're ever going to see with the M16A4 while ADSing is 0 0.516? Ah, gosh, let me think about this. 0.12. Uh, 0 0.512 would be the highest spread that you could ever get with the M16A4 while ADSing and not moving. That is insanely important because whenever you use something like the Ace 23, and you get an 8 round burst going, well if the ADS accuracy is 0.2, let's assume that the spread increase per round is 0.1, at the end of that your ADS accuracy is now 1, which is um, the same as if you were to just start hip firing. Another thing that no one ever brings up is the fact that with automatic weapons, if you pull the trigger the same moment that you start aiming down sights in the game, you're going to have hip fire accuracy with an automatic weapon. Now, the same effect is going to take place with the M16A4. However, it's again going to reset at the end of that first three round burst. So you can start shooting and start aiming at the same moment with the M16A4 and not have the same diverse effects that you might with the Ace 23. Now, this does not mean if you shoot barely after you pull the ADS trigger that it's going, if you're on a console, ADS button on PC, if you if you ADS barely before you start shooting, that's not going to matter. You have an entire animation of bringing your weapon from hip fire stance to the ADS stance, and you have to be in the full aim, to, aim down sight stance for it to count as aim down sights accuracy. They never bring those two things up, and they are actually quite important in making a weapon effective. Now with the M16A4, yes you have to tap fire and yes you have to be pretty good to get it to fire the full 800 rounds per minute, but if you dedicate yourself and you get used to it, I have over 1500 kills with it, it is amazing. And I kill people much faster with the M16A4 than I could ever pretend to with the Ace 23 or the M416 nowadays because I'm getting so many headshots with that first shot recoil multiplier. Now, I'll be honest, I am using the muzzle brake and the angled grip to help fight the vertical recoil with this gun 
on that first shot recoil multiplier, which, by the way, is actually um, a third round burst multiplier, a third round shot multiplier, um, because it, it's it's now moved and applied to that third shot in each burst. So it's gonna fire steady for the first two and then jump up at the end of that burst. But if you're tap if you're tapping it fast enough, you're not really gonna notice the difference between the new bursting mechanics and the old bursting mechanics. Personally, I think I prefer the older the old ones. Um, over the new burst mechanics, but that's just me. Muzzle brake gives you a small penalty to accuracy, but it is automatic accuracy. The muzzle brake literally is not going to matter that much because with the spread increase per round of only point, point 0.104, the muzzle brake it affects automatic fire. Well, three round burst. That means again, it's going to reset after that third shot. So you don't have to worry about the effects of many attachments. Stubby grips are worthless on the M16 because, again, burst weapon does not matter. So with those stats in mind, we can assume that it is virtually identical to the M16A3 from Battlefield 3. Now those stats may have been a little hard to understand and maybe even a little bit mind jarring as they were for me the first time I went through them to discover what advantages this weapon had over the automatic weapons, I knew that there had to be something going on that was making me have such an easy time killing people with it. Uh, it might be a little hard to wrap your head around all those statistics, like I said, but um, in the, at the end of the day, I recommend that you really dedicate yourself to the gun for a while. Even if you don't like it uh, right at first, I didn't like it right at first either, I wanted my automatic M16, but I have actually grown to love this gun in Battlefield 4. So as always, thanks for watching guys, I'm Level Up here at On Point Tactical, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield.